viewers and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. So, many of you know how we feel about dormant parts here, but sometimes you get in a situation where you don't have a choice. Uh, so we got this 2010 Grand Cherokee here and it has the problem with the rear tailgate handle. You pull the handle and the handle sticks. I've got the handle right here. So when you go to release the tailgate, you pull it and the handle sticks, and then you have to push it back down to make the tailgate, you know, stay shut. So and that is because of rust. However, to buy this little cheap piece of plastic through Mopar, you have to buy this whole assembly for the tune of about 300 bucks. And then you have to have it painted. Um, getting them used is, you know, not effective. Most uh, salvage arts won't sell just, you know, this portion here because they want to sell the whole tailgate. But our good friends at Norman make this little kit right here. What is it? Uh, 93573, I don't know if that's their part number. I got it in a Napa box, but the Napa stuff is just rebox dormant and then marked up to twice what it's worth. Uh, even this, in and of itself, was quite expensive. Uh, I think I paid like 60 or 70 bucks for it, something like that. The fact is I needed it, so I got it. It comes with a new pin and a couple new springs, and apparently, we need to get this one out without breaking these little fragile plastic ears. So, we're gonna find out, does it save time or does it just waste money? I don't know, or I guess does it save money? Whichever the case may be, let's see what we can do. So I think the best option here is to at least relieve the tension on the old one. I'll just cut this ears off the springs here. There's one. I'm gonna chop it off. There's the other one. So this one's got a little bit of snot left in it. I might cut the other ear off it. Let's see, no I'm not. I can't get in there very well. Yeah I can. Close your eyes. Alright. Yeah, I better chop that one off. Alright. So now that's free. don't want to break that ear, that ear, or that ear. And the rust is already in there, so I'm sure they're swollen up on the verge of breaking already. Oh, easy fella. chunk out. works because the lady's tailgate worked when it came in. Need to make it worse, you know. What are you gonna do? I can't believe it, you know, when I called Dodge and they told me the price of this thing. I was like, you know, get real. Ten year old or seven year old car in New York State thinks not worth it, you know. Just not worth it folks. Not for something that's going to be in the crusher in a couple years. Might have to get a little pair of vice grips. If 
probably can get us a little bit of panther P2. Uh, if I worked it, I could get it to pull through yet. There we go. All right. Try not to scratch the crap out of it. So far, we've succeeded. Um, I was wondering if it'd be best just to cut the plastic here. That way, we've got one less force to fight. But we don't want to cut into that. Yeah, I'm probably better off not trying it. Well, let me go get a little pair of bite scripts, see if I can get a little better bite on that. Yeah, plastic and rust sucks. Like I said, it gets all swollen in there. I think if we can turn it. So it seems to be seized in the handle. Because it's free in this portion, because you can see the head of it turning, so it's got to be seized just in the handle here. Perhaps the best option is trying to cut the handle. Let's see if that side. Same thing on this side. It's seized in the handle. Oh, I wish I had like a little Dremel tool. That'd be handy about now. I don't know if I can come across this sideways, perhaps. The struggles real, you know. I mean, we're only changing them because they're rusty. Of course, it didn't come with any instructions. Of course, I cut that one short as heck. Wasn't thinking. Peace, hooray. Now, so there it is, there's a factory one. Now, let's see, here's our new pin. Let's make sure that slides through easy. Easy peasy. Stick our new handle. It fits. That's a good thing. That's a start. Let's see. How in the thunder do they have these? Should have paid attention. But I didn't. I'm going to have to look back through my footage. This one has to go here. I thought this one was just a little wonky. I can see where it sat, you know, right in there. All right, anywho. I just figured it was goofed up from the rust. But apparently it wasn't. I 
fancy way to hold it. Let me go get a pair of needle nose. Far so good, fellas. That one's sat in there like that. That should be a real treat. Oh, there's probably a spring expert watching. I know I'm doing it wrong, but I mean we're doing it right. We're putting them in the right position, but it's a pain when uh, they're loaded. Let's see if that's in. We're not gonna be able to flick it over, so. Right? Nope. Okay. I'll be dang. Get it to somewhat hold for us. Every tool has a hammer side. There we go. Fancy. Now it came with a little C clip. Or E clip. Oh, which looks like an E and a C. So there, I guess, all in all, here's the work, as long as the springs don't break. That's how the little retainers on them go if you're putting this together yourself. Probably what we ought to do, we ought to give this a shot of something good to keep it from getting so crusty. If it lasts seven years like the first one did, we got nothing to worry about. used dormant door handles in the past and typically they work but they usually only last about a week before they break. Come on. So I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if this is the same way but currently it works. So we'll put it back in. I guess before we do that, because I didn't show taking this apart, because I didn't anticipate on doing a video, but if you're taking this out, of course you have to pull the tailgate panel off, which we'll, you know, we'll put it back on, just a couple screws. You got the two bolts here, but the pisser is these, these white clips right here. So you have to reach in the tailgate and pinch these and push them out at the same time. They got locks on the top and bottom, uh, and they're quite stout. Took about all I had my little meat nuggets here to squeeze them and push them through, but you don't want to break them. 
uh, for sure. And then just the one, you know, wire and harness that goes through the gate. So what we'll do, we'll fish this harness back through. And then that harness actually clicks in, like so. And then you just line up the bolt holes. Whenever you're putting in something that's from Dorman, there's always a catch. And the catch here is, <laughs> freaking, the rod that we put through is too long, so it will not fit in the tailgate. Awesome job, Dorman. Way to screw my life like usual. So I'll show you. So the rod sticks out there. And then we're going to take, line up that bolt hole, line up that bolt hole. Oh, what is it? Quarter inch too long? So it will not fit. Awesome. And then there's no room on that side. You know, we can't really make it just by pushing it back. <sighs> Story of my life. I know better than to use their crap. I shouldn't have. But I did because I'm just trying to save this lady some a couple hundred dollars in jingle. Should have bought the factory one. Don't use this crap. Uh, but now we're committed. Um, this stuff just pisses me off. Well, I, I don't really know what to do. I mean, short of just cutting it. We can either cut the tailgate or we can cut this. You sure as heck can't assemble this up inside the tailgate. So you have to remove this to assemble it. I mean, all we can do cut it. I mean, we don't have a choice. Of course, I don't, I don't think our pin is going to work out on its own. It's under quite a bit of tension, but unbelievable. I mean, it's not unbelievable. I know better. Never buy their stuff. Bottom line. Some days you get the bear, and some days the bear gets you. Now how are we going to be 100% sure that pin doesn't walk back out of there? The hole's sloppy enough, I don't think that we can just deform it, you know, and hope for the best. Uh, let me think about it. Yeah, that's right. I think that's the best I can come up with is stick a washer on the end of it. <laughs> and what else are you going to do when you change a handle? Weld it in. Didn't think this was going to be involved, or I didn't think this was going to be a necessary tool for a simple handle replacement. We got some water, obviously, when we give it a little tube, we're going to need to give it a little squirt. So, washer's on there. So if you're doing this at home, I hope you have a welder, cutoff tool, patience. That's just stupid. So there, just gotta put a little, uh, little washer on there. Live on TV camera. This is not an isolated case, I tell you. Seems like every freaking thing they make, this is what happens. They're like, oh yeah, this is good. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna be an awesome day. Nope, it's not. It's probably gonna break in a week, anyways. If it does, we're getting the whole thing. I'll buy a used tailgate if I have to. Hey, look 
of that fence. So that's the back side of it, and like I say, you know, you've got about, oh, three fingers widths here. The pin is about six finger widths wide, or seven, or eight maybe. You know, you're not going to work on it up in this tailgate trying to reach through here. You know, you can barely get your fingers over here and fight those springs. You know, perhaps that's your method. If it is, that's ridiculous. You know, when you can just take it out and work on it on the bench. thing that bugs me the worst about this company is back in the day, I know I've probably said it a hundred times, you gotta hook your cable back up to it. Um, they used to make good products. I'm talking, you know, way back when, back when Moby Dick was a sardine. They used to make handy little things and then of course like most big soulless companies, you know, they get driven by money and greed and the rest is history. Now they've pretty much monopolized the automotive industry as far as, you know, you can't buy a good park and brake cable anymore, you know, because they've, they've just taken over all the brake hardware, everything it sucks. Every park store carries it, you know, like I say, even Napa, you know, it's just all rebranded re dormant crap. I'm sure I'll probably get an email from them. Some more shirts and an apology letter. Oh, it's an isolated case. First time. We've never heard of it. Uh, so there it is. All installed and functioning for the time being. Hooray. Uh, so on this Jeep, I actually have to change uh, the latch also. Um, the dome light switch inside the latch has gone bad. And to get that, you have to buy the entire latch. Which Dorman might make that. You really want to trust your door latch to them? Be handy. Flying down the road, your latch flies open. So, there's that little guy. And like I say, the switch that's way back in there that plugs in right there for the dome lights has gone bad. So, uh, currently the lady has it unplugged. She said, Somebody unplug it for her so her battery wouldn't keep going dead. Uh, so that's what I've got to do here. But I think what I'm going to do is just keep on trucking, get this thing done. Get the key one hooked from it. Well, what the heck, I'll bring it along. I was going to end the video. Let me go grab a Torx bit. So it just has three Torx screws that hold it on. dies in this thing I haven't charged it in weeks and I've used it a lot and it's still three bars so either the indicator doesn't work or it just has like the best battery on the market back when the Milwaukee still worked before it died uh, the battery in that didn't last near as long but so there's the old switch like I said there's not a whole lot to it um, I don't know do we have to transfer oh well, looky, looky, this one comes with a new cable. I didn't even pay attention to that. Probably to stick it in the right way. That'll get you in trouble. We'll stick that on there. Just put a little bit of blue Loctite on these. Obviously torque them to spec. Might very gingerly stick our cable up through here. Went behind the wires. Go ahead, little fella, there she is. Hook it back into our brand new Chinesium latch. Hole. 
plug your plugger in wherever it plugs in. Way down yonder. Get the right plugger. So it looks way down here at the bottom. Let me just trip the latch, get a screwdriver. Fancy. Now, so to put the panel back on, there's a whole bunch of white retainers that go away around. There was quite a few uh, Phillips head screws too. And then you've got a whole bunch of retainers there for her, so. Then yeah, we'll hold her up there. Plug in the light, and these, it's got these big locators. You got to use that to get them located first. Come on, little fella. Fiber cables back through where they belong. See if there wasn't any up the side. gate's been off before so some of the Christmas trees have lost their retention, I guess. But not to fear, Chrysler uses a lot of screws, so... Then these two big long ones, where do they, they come from up here, down. And they're kind of a pisser to relocate, but you can just fiddle with them and you'll hit the hole eventually. Should be able to start on my hand. You'll see where they go, right up next to the third brake light up here. But taking the panel off is pretty much the opposite of putting it on. Just take the screws out, and the uh, little retainer clips will pop out. If the clips stick up in the body, which the majority of these did, you just got to take and pop them out and stick them back on the panel <coughs> before you put it back on. That'll be nice. Wipe your paw prints off it. Unless it's your car, then it don't matter. There. I think that's all our Prints there. Everything looks good. 
it opens, it closes, and the dome lights work. So to answer the age-old question, will the rear handle the Dorman makes? I don't know their number. Like I said, that's an app number, but you can see there's a Dorman sticker underneath it. Maybe we can get the number. No, it's stuck to it. What's it say? Dorman. I don't know. Can't read backwards. Will it work? The answer to that question is yes and no. Uh, it'll work if you have a welder and a cutoff wheel and a little bit of time. I was really hopeful that it was gonna. Um, who knows how long it'll last. Perhaps if we were to call their technical support and ask them how we go about it, uh, perhaps you're supposed to try to do this while everything is still in the vehicle, which I think is just ridiculous. Uh, first of all, you're not getting you know this pin out in the car. I mean, you'd have to get up in there with a cutoff wheel and stuff too, and then you know now you're getting you know sparks and everything all over the interior. I don't know what the what the answer is, but that's how my cookie crumbled today. We were able to overcome it. Um, like I say, welding the washer on is it the best solution. I don't know. Probably could have gotten one of those. Uh, you guys have probably seen them, them little metal retainers with the fingers on them for, uh, you know, like the ones that hold brake rotors and stuff on. You probably could have got a real tiny one and stuck it over that. Or you could just cut it off. It likely won't wiggle out. But the fact of the matter is they should get on their game and actually make stuff that works. I mean, every single time this happens, we use their stuff, doesn't work. I'm not going to get into it, whatever, dude. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Find us on our socials, Google+, Plus, Facebook, and Patreon. Um, if you love what we do and you want to support us, that's fantastic. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.